I want to show what I've learned in the paint department at Lowe's and Home Depot and apply it to uh, face makeup. Um, you use a primer before you paint. It helps the paint last longer and be more durable. So applying a primer, not crack and chip and peel, so applying a primer like uh, to your makeup helps it last longer and not chip and flake off or rub off. So I'm going to be using coconut oil as my primer base. Just going to put it on here. And you can use a pad if you don't want to use your hands. Just going to make sure I get it everywhere. Also, coconut oil is really good for your skin and it goes into your pores and uh, it stops the makeup from going into your pores. Not all makeups are good for your skin, but coconut oil is helps get rid of the wrinkles, and blemishes, helps you stay younger looking. Okay, it's also good for your hair. Okay. Now I apply my liquid base coat, and this is gonna help cover up blemishes and Maybe some moles or freckles and some uneven skin coloring like some from sunburn. Then I put on my bronzer. Just make it darker. I like to put the dark underneath. So it's uh, darker tones underneath the lighter tones. Then I put on my compact. It's a lighter tone for me. Kind of evens it up. And for my eyeshadow, I take a small brush and I dip it in my coconut oil. And then I take my eyeliner. And then I put my powder on with the coconut oil so it makes it more like a liquid eyeshadow. And one thing I really like about this shirt is it's kind of like a purplish red, but none of my makeup ever matches it. So I'm going to do a color match with the shirt. I've got a dark purple on here. I'm going to put this pink on over the top of it. And do this fuchsia color with the shirt. My pink is not quite dark enough. So I'll put it in with some pink. See, it's not playing match with my shirt. Then we do a powder on the eyebrows just to kind of make them stand out a little bit. I am a red cheek person. I get red cheeks very, very easily. Um, so I'm going to put on some blush. This makes them look red all day. And not just when I'm emotional. I'm just going to blend it in here. Okay, there we go. And there we have. Mascara, my facial hair is blonde. So, in order to see it, so I have some emotions happy, sad, surprised. I feel like my facial hair helps dictate.
easier to see. it out, get all the extra little chunky makeups out of our lashes. I noticed that I wear glasses and I could see the mascara. So when I comb it out, it just makes it look more even and beautiful. And the last part is cleanup. It's like doing lines, right, on the wall. You know, you do the paintbrush. Well, sometimes we miss the lines on our face, too. So what I do is I just use a baby wipe, um, sensitive time, because our faces are sensitive. And I just... Go back and get where the makeup I opened my eye and the makeup was wet. And underneath my eyes, where it kind of fell down. And usually just leave it on the lips. Yeah, like that. And sometimes I have extra little blush or something. I just want it. 